Hey, American Werewolf in Paris is without question one of the worst horror films you can ever find. With terrible acting, horrendous CGI, and a story that's all over the place. This film really, it bored me in so many ways. And not only was this movie boring, it was hilarious as well, especially considering how awful these characters are. How in the world is this a sequel to the original American Werewolf in London? So the story of this film is that Andy and his two friends, they head to Paris for a vacation, and all three of them sees this woman jump off the Eiffel Tower, and Andy jumps after her, saves her, and then from there, the whole movie takes a tumble into mediocrity. And not only that, but there's also a group of werewolves and they can turn wherever they take this serum. And I was really thinking, really? The original movie only had two werewolves, so I find a group of them in this film coming together quite absurd. You know, at one point, I stopped caring about these characters simply because of how one dimension they are and the asinine decisions they was making throughout this movie. This was the first time I had seen this film and there's a reason I avoided it for so many years due to the awful reception. You know, to be honest, this movie never needed to be made because the original film tied up all loose ends properly. And so when they made this sequel, it just doesn't make any sense when you really look at it. If you've never somehow seen this film, stay far away from it because this movie is clearly a waste of time. This movie can't even live up to the original 1981 classic American Werewolf of London. Not even close. In fact, what makes the original so great is that David, he was a normal guy, became a werewolf. And then he struggled with that all throughout the film and ended tragically. This movie, I really couldn't find any likable characters. Now, Andy is a complete moron. There's even one part of this film where he's chewing a condom. <laughs> a condom, like what was they thinking? It's not even remotely hilarious. It's just downright just stupid. And not just that, but the CGI kind of ruined the film for me. Seeing the werewolves, it's like, it's horrible. What happened? This movie had a budget of $25 million. Where did that money go? <laughs> I couldn't understand it. But I will say it's that Tom Everett Scott, his acting is not that great, honestly. But at least one highlight of this movie I can talk about is Julia Debbie. Her character, Selfrafine, or however you say it. You know, the only reason she did this movie is to pay her rent. You know a movie's that bad when an actress has to take a movie role or to pay, you know, some bills or something. And, you know, one thing I try to understand is that the ending, one of the worst endings I've seen to this movie. You know, it was always going to be a challenge for them to make a sequel, but this is more like a spin-off film or whatever. It has no ties to the original classic. And for everything I try to understand, it's just nothing likable. Even the antagonists in this film suck, like Claude. He too is like a werewolf, and well, there's him and his, his, you know, friends, and that's this whole plot, it's like a gang of werewolves, and I'm like, ugh, this movie is just atrocious on all accounts, and it's just, you know, with typical sequels, it just can't live up to its predecessor, not one bit. I'm giving this film a 2 out of 10. Yeah, without question, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. How this got a theatrical release is beyond me. This movie is certainly a dumpster fire, but it could have been interesting considering the themes it presents. The only problem is it tries to lay on comedy way too much, and I know the original film did that, but it was only to a certain extent. The original movie was more suspenseful than this one ever was, especially towards that third act. And this one is all kinds of madness and not in a good way. At the end of the day, this is a movie I'm probably never going to watch ever again simply because it is an embarrassment to a horror genre and considering there are far better werewolf movies out there. And that's my review of the film American Werewolf in Paris. Alright, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Phew.
Kisah